Hello everyone, this is Odom Pyre at runyo.com and this is my video tutorial for splicing images into floor tiles for Ultima Online. <coughs> uh, what you'll need is uh, a basic floor tile and what I've done is I've just uh, outlined the very outer edges precisely and hollowed it out, filled it in with color uh, because the part we want for splicing is just the outer line here. Uh, but you can download these Odempire's developer files at runio.com and just use those if you like. The, this one's called Green, Gli Green Grid Lines Empty. And then uh, the image you want to splice. Uh, the bigger the image, the, the more work you'll have to do, the more splices you'll have to make. Uh, this one, I've already prepared it and it's 91 by 91 square uh, pasted onto a canvas. Uh, uh, you could have um, your image on uh, actual stone pavers, but mine's just going to be the the symbol of the sun. That way, I can overlay it on top of any floor tile I want. Um, so what I've done is I've created an exaggerated canvas. Uh, the background matches around the sun so I can uh, create a copy of that so I can move this around later on and then on each layer what I do is I you come to your your grid selecting all four corners using your magic wand uh, tolerance zero and the center. I'm holding shift. That's what lets me make multiple selections. Then I invert to where I have a selection just around my outline and copy that. And then I'm going to paste that on a new layer. And for each splice you need a new layer. And what I've done is I've, uh, I've already done the work. Save some time here. You see how that works. You have to overline precisely. Uh, this is how you overlap. I mean, overlap. Um, you have to paste directly on top of the other square. Just like that on a new layer. That's the magic trick. It's important that you keep your vertical and your horizontal aligned because that will keep your your image splices uh, it will help, it will make them line, line up in game so the reason I've created a copy is so I can move this around and align it in my grid once I've done that you come to the first layer which I'll turn everything off so you can see what I'm working here with This is my first layer, and the one I have highlighted, where I pasted my first square. Using a magic wand, I select the background, and then I invert. Now I don't need the green part, that was just my guideline, so I'm going to clear it, which is the delete button. And now I come back down to the original image and I still have a selection. And it's precisely where the square was. And I copy that. Then I return to this image. And I'm going to paste onto this and align it with the floor tile. Now in game, uh, the white will disappear. And it will be nothing but the yellow. And I can place that on top of an existing floor and uh, so you would save this as uh, in a new folder you could call it uh, whatever sun and this would be my first splice and I would save that as bitmap and then you would continue to go to each you can uh, reuse this once you've saved it just undo return it back to a floor tile and then I'd go to the second one. You can delete your layers as you go. 
That way you don't uh, forget where you're at. And you repeat the process. Select the background. Invert. Delete to clear the green lines. Return to the background. Edit copy or control C. Return to the original image and paste that onto there. Save that as a bitmap. And once it's saved, undo, return, and go to your next selection. Remember, you can delete your layers as you finish them. Now I'm on my third one, invert, delete to clear, turn to my background, copy, turn to my floor, paste. Uh, it's a juggling act. Save as bitmap, and then this, you know, this would be um, number number three, and then you would do four, five, six, all nine slices, and that'll be your image. The bigger your image, the more work you have to do. But uh, like the shrines of virtue, they're basically four tiles. I made this one nine tiles, so that would be a, a lot larger. That's the trick, that's how you splice images. Uh, it doesn't matter that the images are overlapping because the way I did it, um, you can see here, uh, once you clear these lines, this, the selection that overlaps will be on the same pixels will be on both images so it doesn't matter that they overlap uh, you won't lose or gain any uh, pixels and it'll all perfectly align that's the trick and for this image it's 91 by 91 grid uh, for this you would want 88 by 88 and floor tiles are 44 by 44 pixel See. That's the trick, and pretty soon I will make a video tutorial to show you how to do walls. Uh, now say you were wanting to uh, create a uh, an image with something that wasn't symmetrical like this. Like a sun with a smiley face or something. I'm exaggerating, but... You could uh, rotate here. And that would give you this 45 degree rotation, would give you the south. You see how I distorted my colors there? You might have to go back in and uh, doctor that up, repaint things. If you, if you want to preserve the original color. That's it. Enjoy.